Discover the transformative presence of the Holy Spirit in your life through this revealing message. Have you ever wondered if you truly have this heavenly guidance? We present seven unmistakable signs, drawn directly from scripture, that will confirm whether the Holy Spirit dwells within you. Clear your doubts about the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. We offer you clear and biblical signs, starting with complete confidence in your salvation, as expressed in Romans chapter 8 verse 16. If you have questioned the baptism in the Spirit or are concerned about having lost it, this content is essential for you. Let's reinforce your understanding and confidence in your spiritual identity, showing you how each sign reflects a deep truth about your relationship with God. The Holy Spirit acts as the voice and certainty within us, assuring us of our belonging to God. Thus, having confidence in our salvation is a sign of His dwelling in us. If you doubt His presence in your life, remember that uncertainty does not automatically rule out His work in you. The relationship is deeper and not as simplistic. To understand the internal struggle over our spiritual identity, we must refer to what the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 reminds us that the Spirit testifies with our own spirit that we are children of God, offering us internal certainty of our divine connection despite doubts and uncertainties. The Holy Spirit in us confirms that we are of God, and His presence is manifested through specific fruits. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23 identifies these fruits of the Spirit in qualities such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It is crucial to understand that doubt is a tool the enemy uses to divert us from divine truth. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 urges us to clothe ourselves with the armor of God to resist his deceptions which involves delving into the Word and understanding the truth about our identity in Christ. By knowing this truth, we can confront lies and doubts with the certainty that we are sons and daughters of God. The internal dialogue between good and evil can generate fluctuations in our faith, leading us to alternate between certainty of our divine sonship and doubt. However, the presence of the Holy Spirit manifests as a deep internal conviction that we truly belong to God, regardless of the emotional or mental struggles we face. The second sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life is the development of a godly character. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23 teaches us that the fruit of the Spirit includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities, which reflect the character of Christ, are key evidence that the Holy Spirit is at work in us, beyond the charisma or visible power that may manifest. The character of Christ is the definitive evidence of the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. While it is possible to simulate miracles or live a double life, the authentic sign that you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit is a progressive transformation towards being more like Christ every day. This is reflected in your daily conduct and how your actions align with divine values. The Apostle Paul exhorts us in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22-24 to strip off the old self marked by deceitful desires, and to renew ourselves in the spirit of our minds, adopting a new character that reflects the righteousness and holiness of God. This transformation is essential upon receiving the Holy Spirit, as it calls us to abandon old practices and live in a way that truly reflects divine holiness. The true measure of the baptism of the Holy Spirit in our faith is not based on external appearances but on a continual transformation of our character and our daily actions such as an increase in love, patience, and a peace that surpasses all understanding. James chapter 3 verse 17 complements this by highlighting the importance of wisdom that comes from above in our spiritual growth. The wisdom of the Holy Spirit is characterized by being pure, peaceful, kind, gentle, merciful, and sincere, fostering good fruits and fairness. This wisdom impels us to live according to the teachings of Jesus, showing mercy and avoiding hypocrisy. Thus, the true sign of the baptism of the Holy Spirit and its effective presence in our lives is not based on external manifestations that can be simulated but on a continual internal transformation that makes us more like Jesus. The presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives is manifested in how we treat others, in our integrity, and in our ability to love unconditionally. This spiritual path demands daily dedication, prayer, and submission to the will of God, allowing Him to mold us in His image. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit empowers us for evangelism, as mentioned in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, which promises power to be witnesses of Christ everywhere, from the local to the global level. 
The Holy Spirit stands out as the primary evangelist and worshiper of heaven, characterized by his deep love for Jesus and the gospel, as well as his intense desire to reach the lost. When the Holy Spirit dwells in us, his power and passion are reflected in our lives, propelling us to evangelize and worship fervently. The baptism in the Holy Spirit propels us with a passion and power for evangelism that transforms our way of living and sharing the faith. This does not feel like a duty but like a genuine and fervent desire for others to experience the love and salvation we have found in Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 14 emphasizes the need to preach, posing how can people believe in someone they have not heard of, thus highlighting the importance of sharing the gospel. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 19, Paul asks for prayers to receive the word with courage and proclaim the mystery of the gospel, demonstrating that even he, a great evangelist, recognized the need for the power of the Holy Spirit to evangelize effectively. In the parable of the lost sheep in Luke chapter 15, Jesus illustrates the immense love of the Father for every lost person. This same love and compassion are infused in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. As a result, our passion and lifestyle begin to reflect Christ's love and compassion towards others, and we find joy in being used by God to reach the lost. The true power of evangelism goes beyond knowing the message of the gospel. It involves being transformed by it and sharing that transformation with others through the power of the Holy Spirit. The diversity of spiritual gifts is mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, such as wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, discernment of spirits, speaking in different tongues, and interpretation of tongues. Verse 11 emphasizes that it is the same Spirit who gives these gifts according to His will, highlighting the diversity of gifts distributed to different people according to God's plan. It is essential to understand that the presence of the Holy Spirit in someone's life is not validated solely by speaking in tongues. The true evidence of His presence is reflected in life transformation and the fruit of the Spirit, as mentioned in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23, which includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities are a powerful testimony of the work of the Holy Spirit in us. Romans chapter 8 verse 9 establishes that true Christians are led by the Spirit of God rather than the sinful nature. This highlights that the distinctive mark of a Christian does not lie in a specific gift but in the presence of the Holy Spirit in their life, leading them to live according to Christ's principles. The true pursuit is a deeper relationship with God, allowing His Spirit to transform us and use us according to His will, regardless of the gifts He bestows upon us. However, love should be prioritized, as highlighted by Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, being the greatest manifestation of the Spirit in our lives. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 assures us that hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. This divine presence not only enables us to love others but also cultivates in us a passionate love for Jesus himself. When you experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life, it is evident because you become obsessed with Jesus. You cannot help but talk about him. Your desire is to share about Jesus with everyone, friends, family, colleagues. Jesus becomes the center of your life and your conversations. This passion arises from the Holy Spirit, whose function is to glorify Jesus and testify of him. Thus, by receiving the presence of the Holy Spirit, you become a passionate follower of Jesus, with a love that springs from the depths of your being. Passion for Jesus is not something we can generate on our own, it is a gift of the Holy Spirit. When we surrender to Him and allow Him to fill us and guide us, our love for Jesus naturally overflows into all areas of our life. This is reflected in how we prioritize our time, how we use our resources, and even in the words we choose to use. Everything becomes a testimony of our love for Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 511 urges us to adopt the same attitude as Jesus Christ, who humbled himself and became obedient to death on the cross. The sixth aspect is knowledge of the truth. In 1 John chapter 2 verse 27, it is stated that the anointing we have received from God remains in us and teaches us all things. When the Holy Spirit dwells in us, the truth manifests in our being. This truth is not only intellectually learned but rooted deep within us, becoming our portion. When the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you receive divine revelation. You begin to grasp the deeper truths of Scripture and discern the presence of God. The knowledge of truth that comes through the Holy Spirit is not merely academic or theoretical, 
It is experiential knowledge that transforms life. John chapter 16 verse 13 teaches us that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, will guide us into all truth. He not only provides us with information but also reveals God's purposes for us and for the world. By abiding in Christ and allowing His anointing to teach us, our relationship with God deepens. The truth we receive from the Holy Spirit frees us from deception, fear, and doubt, strengthening our faith and confidence in God. Knowledge of the truth is essential for living a life of holiness and obedience, as the truth sets us free. John chapter 8 verse 32. The revelation imparted by the Holy Spirit is not reserved for a select group of religious experts but is available to all who sincerely seek God with open and humble hearts. This spiritual knowledge enables us to discern between good and evil, truth and falsehood, allowing us to live in a way that honors God. Knowledge of the truth is an invaluable treasure, accessible to all who sincerely seek God and desire to remain in His presence. And finally, the seventh point, which should be obvious, is that one of the signs that you have received the presence of the Holy Spirit or have been baptized in Him is that you walk in holiness. Holiness is number seven, as indicated in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2, which speaks of being chosen for the sanctification of the Spirit, to obey and be sprinkled with the blood of Jesus Christ, desiring that grace and peace multiply in our lives. Holiness is not just a theological concept but a practical reality reflected in the daily life of those who are truly under the influence of the Spirit of God. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23, the Apostle Paul lists the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. By living according to these qualities, we naturally turn away from sin and draw closer to the nature of God. Holiness is also a powerful testimony to the world around us. Believers who live a holy life demonstrate the difference that Christ makes in life, attracting others to Him not only with words but also with the example of life. It is crucial to understand that the path to holiness is continuous and requires constant dependence on the Holy Spirit. It is not about achieving perfection through our own efforts but allowing the Holy Spirit to mold and refine us every day. As Paul writes in Philippians chapter 2 verse 12, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. In summary, the signs of the presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer are confidence in salvation, godly character, passion and power for evangelism, evidence of speaking in tongues, love for Jesus, knowledge of the truth, and holiness. Reflecting on whether these markers are experienced in personal life, and in the absence or need for growth, it is recognized that it is okay as long as there is progress, thus indicating the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Jesus together. He is here, ready to listen to us. He sees us, hears us, loves us, and calls us. You are not here by chance. Let's pray together. Repeat after me, from your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner and ask for forgiveness for my mistakes. Wash me in your blood and make me new. Even though I may not understand everything, I turn to you now because I need your help. Jesus, forgive me, save me, and be my Lord. I surrender everything to you and will follow you. In your name, I pray, Amen.